All right, let's talk about rest periods. Rest periods indicate how much time you rest between movements, between exercises, and indicated in seconds. So, we have our A series exercises, our B, and our C, okay? And rest periods change a little bit based on whether we're in an accumulation phase or an intensification phase. So our A series, you're gonna see 180 seconds, and our intensification, you're gonna see 240. So roughly three or four minutes based on the type of training that we're doing, all right? Uh, B series can range anywhere from 60 to 90, and that's the same. And then C series can go anywhere between 30 and 60 seconds, and that'll be the same regardless. So basically our A series is gonna change slightly. Right? Now, in the A series, or any series for that matter, we have to understand the difference between single station and double station exercises. So let's say we have A1 and A2. So let's say we're gonna, oh, I don't know, uh, incline press, and we're gonna do, you know, a pull up. The rest period, instead of saying 180, we're gonna cut that in half. And the rest period is gonna be indicated as 90 seconds. So in A series, we're gonna, or in a double station, we're gonna split it in half. Understanding that we're gonna end up getting about 180 seconds rest before we incline press again. So we can do a pull up while we're resting upper, upper body. So we've got this antagonist, agonist antagonist relationship, okay? In the intensification, instead of saying 240, it's gonna say 120. So 180, half of that is 90. 240, half of that is 120, okay? If it's a single station, if it's just A, which might be squat, you're going to see either 180 or 240. You perform the set, you rest the full three minutes or the full 180 seconds, and then you perform the next set. If we have single limb movements, so let's say B1, B2, let's say B1 is a dumbbell press, but B2 is a one on row, we're gonna perform the press, we're gonna rest the designated time, and then we're gonna do the one on row. A general rule with the one on row, or our single limb movement is anywhere 15 to 30 seconds between limbs. The same goes for your C series. Exercises will typically be a little bit easier. Our intensity decreases as we go from A to B to C. The weights get a little bit lighter. Exercises get a little bit easier. Um, so if we have a single limb movement, we typically need very little rest, 10 seconds or so, before we move on to the other side, the other arm or leg. Um, and then you just follow the total rest period said before, rest periods can be anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds, so you just cut it in half between the two exercises. So if there's an exercise C1, C2, if the total rest period is 60, that's our goal, the card will say 30 seconds, we'll just cut it in half, the same way we did in our A series and B series.